Don't worry, we are friends. GM friends and welcome back to another episode on the Friends Validator podcast. If this is your first rodeo, I'm your host Juri Maibaum and this show is a hub that brings together crypto pioneers, exciting projects and a thriving community. And today it's time for another tutorial because there is potentially another airdrop around the corner, specifically in the Cosmos slash Celestia ecosystem. Of course, I am talking about Milky Way Zone. Um, Milky Way is a DApp and essentially the liquid staking solution for Celestia. And if you have experienced the liquid staking airdrop by Gito in the Solana ecosystem, you know that liquid staking airdrops can be very, very rewarding. So let's have a closer look at this Twitter thread by us friends where we show you how to potentially be eligible for this airdrop. This is not confirmed, please note that, but if you follow those steps, you have a very, very high likelihood that you will be eligible for the Milky Way airdrop. Um, again, Milky Way is the liquid staking solution for Chia. So the very, very first uh, thing that we can do is we go to osmosis.zone. Um, we also see already here some advertisement uh, for milk. But um, yeah, let's start by connecting our Kepler wallet as usual. Now we are connected and currently I have 10 Osmo. That should be more than enough for this tutorial. So I already have Osmo. If you don't have any Osmo, I highly recommend you to get some Osmo. Obviously no financial advice, but there's also very li uh, high likelihood that Osmo stakers will receive um, the airdrop as well since Milk, uh, Milky Way, um, you can also see it here, Milky Way is built on Osmosis, which makes it likely that the drop will go to Osmo stakers as well. Um, and besides, Osmo stakers usually get a lot of airdrops in the cosmos. Um, again, no financial advice. I'm I'm an Osmosis bull, so um, I love the project a lot, and I hold a lot of Osmo. But yeah, if you want to, if you want to be very very highly eligible for this airdrop, then obviously staking Osmo is one solution. Another solution is the following. So currently, I have ten Osmo, and then I can already swap it into. Milk Chia. Milk Chia is nothing else than the stake representation of Celestia. So essentially, if you want to, let's say we trade three Osmo against Milk Chia, then uh, what we essentially do is we buy um, a stake representation of Chia, which is 0 0.285. So let's do that, swap it real quick. and the transaction was successful. And now, as you can see here, if we go on assets and refresh it, then I have, here I still have 10 Osmo, but let's wait for a second. Yeah, now it worked. Now I have 6.9 Osmo and 0 0.285 milk chia. That's cool, but there's also another way um, to potentially be eligible for this airdrop. And this is when you buy Celestia, so Chia. And if we just say okay, we take another 5 Osmo and swap it into 0 0.47 Chia, the native cryptocurrency of Celestia. I prove the transaction. Transaction is broadcasting. And now the transaction was successful. And now that we have bought Chia, we refresh this website once again and see, okay, already updated. We have 0 0.47 Chia. Why did I do this? Because I now want to liquid stake Chia natively. Um, I'm a fan of airdrops where you are incentivized to actually use the platform. So obviously buying milk Chia is one solution, but I think, um, I think it makes a lot of sense if you really want to go down the rabbit hole to also do this uh, this step again and essentially get milk 
Chia natively. And this works as follows. So you go ahead and first of all, you go on withdraw. You approve that you want to have Celestia in your Kepler wallet uh, if you haven't done this already. And let's say, okay, because I want to show you another step, what you can also do. Let's say, okay, I want to get 0 0.3 Chia. I want to withdraw it. So what we do now is right now our Chia is via IBC on osmosis, but to be able to stake it or liquid stake it, we have to bring it to Celestia. So we go on transfer. And now our Chia is natively on the Celestia chain. Now we are here on uh, another website, which is Milky Way, which is, yeah, the interface where you can stake Chia. Now, after I have accessed the website of Milky Way Deb, I just connected with my Kepler wallet real quick. I approve. It now recognizes, hey, that I have 0 0.47 Chia in my wallet. So let's go ahead and just stake those 0 0.4 Chia. Send and stake. Now I have to sign another transaction, approve. And now the funds arrived again to the osmosis chain. So essentially we now are liquid staking our Chia and have used the Chia interface. Um, just a quick note here. So essentially the first step that we have done to withdraw the uh, Chia from osmosis back to the main chain. Um, if you have your Chia on osmosis already, so if you bought your Chia on osmosis um, already, then you don't have to do the step. You can um, liquid stake directly on Milky Way because again, Milky Way is on osmosis. Um, the reason why I've done this is just to show people who have never used osmosis um, how to get started when they just have Chia in their, yeah, in their Kepler wallet without having ever used osmosis. So these are the steps how to be eligible for, or how to be potentially eligible for the upcoming airdrop. If we go back to launch the app, I want to show you something else as well. So there's this ad, Got Milk, Milk Chia now available on Osmosis. What you can also do is you can um, trade a pair. So the Milk, Chia, and Chia. So it's essentially a pool where you have Milk, Chia, and Chia in it. So let's go and create a position. To have the best overview, let's go on Manual. So we do this by ourselves and now we just um, select the amount that we want to deposit. So just let's do 0 0.2, it's not enough. So let's do 0 0.1 milk tier and 0 0.2 tier at liquidity. Approve, transaction is being broadcasted. And now we have successfully added liquidity to pool 1335. And yeah, that's really essentially everything that you can do right now. Obviously, you can also start to stake Chia. Maybe this helps as well. Um, but yeah, these are like all the steps that you can do actively, which involves Milky Way. Um, just a couple of notes. I've mentioned it. Uh, there's also the possibility to buy Osmond stake it. For all of these airdrop hunting missions, so to say, it's very important to not be too greedy. So I did this because I'm exposed to Celestia. I hold Celestia in my portfolio. I also hold Osmo in my portfolio. So for me, it makes sense to try out uh, the Milky Way D app because it's built on osmosis. It's like the ecosystem I want to expose to and I am exposed to in both ways, Chia and osmosis. But if you say, hey, I'm not interested in getting exposure to osmosis and I'm also not interested in getting exposure to Chia. I don't think that uh, both of the projects are yeah, cool or will have like a future. Then I'm not, um, then I really, really advise you to um, go away and um, don't use this tutorial because then in this case, this tutorial is nothing for you. This tutorial is for people who hold Osmo, who hold Chia and want to try some D apps and eventually increase their chances for a possible airdrop but yeah never ever hold a token in in your portfolio just for the sake of potentially being eligible for the airdrop again right now it's not even confirmed that 
participating in those steps that I have shown you will guarantee an airdrop. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was valuable for you. And if you want us to do this, these kinds of tutorials more often, please go ahead, subscribe to this YouTube channel, leave a comment in the comment section below which airdrop you want us to cover next. And besides that, if you have some spare Cosmos coins left, uh, why not stake it with Friends Validator? This helps us to produce these videos. We are live on Chia, so on Celestia, but also on Osmosis and all of the well-known Cosmos chains. So yeah, if uh, you want us to proceed with all of this, then please go ahead and stake with us. And with that being said, I hope I will see you the next time.